Hey up and welcome to another Confident Club Cuppa. Hello there. So Curly, did you know this amazing scientifically proven fact? Go on then. Human beings yeah. are the only, this is so profound I'm going to say it twice. Human beings are the only creatures who cannot tell the difference yeah. between something they vividly imagine and reality. Say that again, Steve. I said I would. Yeah. Human beings yeah. are the only creatures, maybe the odd dolphin, who cannot tell the difference between something they vividly imagine and reality. Now, for the left brain analytical data people out there, uh, that, if I was doing that as an equation, yeah. it would be I, that's yeah. imagination, multiplied by V, yeah. that's how vivid you make something in your mind's eyes. It's not just what you see, it's what you hear, it's what you feel equals reality and the key part of the equation is the more times you do it the more really becomes. that's your own personal reality of what's that, really happening, yeah yeah what you perceive to be happening yeah so in other words the more, you know everything's created twice first in your mm. head and then it's in the real world so what yeah. we do know about elite performers in the world of sport for example yes. there is not a elite uh, medal winning performer on the planet who does not use the power of what some people would call visualization yeah to focus on so they do the physical rehearsal you know training in the uh, the gym or in the in the sparring ring or whatever their sport is um, uh, in, on the football field uh, but they also mentally rehearse it uh, over and over and of course when you mentally rehearse you grit it every time right yeah and what that allows them to do is to do something for the first time as if they've done it for a thousand times um, now do you want the science of why that works I was going to ask you to name drop first. Well, name drop. Well, um, Leon Taylor, I would name drop. Yeah, no, but I, I was thinking of um, Sir... Oh, Sir Steve Redgrave. Steve Redgrave. Well, to both those people, right? Sir Steve Redgrave. Tell, tell everybody what Steve Redgrave told you. Well, he's, he's won, if you don't know, he, yeah. Steve Redgrave's won uh, five gold medals in consecutive Olympics. So I can't do the maths, but that's a lot of years. Yeah. So it's awesome, right? So and I said, I'm always right. banging on about Sir Steve, about uh, how we should, uh, people in business should use I times V equals I, you know, imagination times how vivid you make something, it was mm. reality. What would you tell them? What did he say? He said, I, well, I'd tell them I spent as much, if perhaps more time training in my head than I ever did sat in a boat. Good enough for him, it's good enough he for did. me. He did, he did, yeah. So, but there's a problem, final thing with this, there's a problem with this. So it's a brilliant skill. If you, you may already visualize, great. The problem most people have when it comes to, say, confidence and when it comes to present, say, presentations in, in particular, yeah. is they use that wonderful ability that humans have to do worry. Yeah, yeah, it's another formula for worry. It's another formula for worry, and in extreme cases, fear, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and you get what you focus on. So uh, just like we said in another couple, notice what you're saying to yourself, you've got to notice what you're seeing and hearing and feeling. Is it helpful? Are you seeing yourself doing a brilliant job when you're on stage or mm. when you're going for that job interview or taking that driving test? Or are you doing worry? Yeah. And you'll get what you focus on. Yeah. So focus yeah. on the right thing. That's right. I'll see you then. Bye.